item. In today's video, we are going to see how we can create files with unique names during each run. The requirement might be that at run time we might have to create some files or output files. Maybe it's a text file, excel file, word file or be it any document. The bot needs to create it at each run time as an output so that this can be referred. So we have to ensure that these generated file names are unique so that they don't override each other or cause at any exception during the run time. So in order to handle this uh, use case, we can think of how to make the file name unique. One of the best way solution we can apply is the file name we can have today's date and time appended. So during each run we will get a unique file name for sure as well as it will be easy to track which was the file generated in which particular execution. So let's try to solve this problem by creating files which have the name appended with today's date and time so that it will be always unique. In order to achieve that, first we would uh, drag the assign activity. So let's create a file name variable which is a string and then so let it be the demo file and then an underscore and then we have to append it with the date and time. So there are two ways we will get the date which is today which gives the current date as well as now gives the current date and time. So we have to use now as we need both the date part and the time part because if we use today it will only have the date part and the time part will be 0000. zero, zero, zero. So in a particular day we might execute the bot multiple times in that case this won't work if we use today. So we should not use today rather use now. So now gives both date and time. Then to ca uh, capture the day part from now we have to write now dot day then again concatenate with now dot month and then with the year. Once this part is done, then let's have to differentiate. Let's have a hyphen or underscore again and then concatenate the remaining parts, which is the time part. So we'll do now dot r concatenated with now dot minute and finally now dot second. And the last part here, we are going to create a text file. So we have to append with the extension .txt. So this is how the expression looks, whatever name of the file and then append it with the current date and time. Here we have used now and not today. And finally the extension of the file. So our file name is ready in the file name variable. Now let's see how it gets created to uh, show that we will dry, drag the right text file which creates text file each time and then here in the file name we will pass the variable file name so that a file gets created in the current project directory and in text just write hello whatever text we want to put it inside the file which gets created. Now let's execute this go to the project folder and perfect we got one file created as demo file 13 10 2021 which is today's date and the time currently is evening 6 28. So we saw how this file got created with the date and time current. Now let's uh, re-execute and see how the next file is getting created whether it's overriding. Okay the execution is completed let's go back and the project folder yes we see another file got created and this time the file uh, has the time difference so a new file got created. So this way we can create unique files 
during run time so that those doesn't get overwritten and we can also keep track of which file got created in which execution so hope this video was helpful for you stay tuned to my channel for more such videos happy learning thank you